Hello guys, in this video, we will quickly go through the evolution of ASP.NET. We will see some of the popular versions of ASP.NET. As we can see, ASP stands for Active Server Pages came in 1996. Then in 2002, ASP.NET Web Forms came into the picture. Due to some drawbacks in ASP.NET Web Forms, ASP.NET MVC released in 2009. In 2016, with the release of .NET Core Framework, ASP.NET Core came into the picture. Then with additional improvement in ASP.NET Core, further version released, out of which ASP.NET Core 2 released in 2017, 3.1 released in 2019, and 5.0 released in 2020. Active Server Pages, known as Microsoft's first server-side language. ASP was released in 1996 as a part of IIS 3.0. ASP pages are currently supported by all the versions of IIS. ASP pages have ASP file extension. ASP is interpreted language, means the compiler interpreted the compiling code. ASP.NET Web Form used to build dynamic website using a drag and drop event driven model. It was released in 2002 and have efficient error handling support as compared to ASP. ASP Web Forms pages have ASPX file extension. Validations in ASP.NET Web Forms can be easily implemented by setting up properties on the control. Some of the drawbacks of ASP.NET Web Forms are Code behind and tightly coupled code makes unit testing almost impossible. View state stored on the page which increase the size of the page as well as reduce the overall performance. Lack of separation of concern. Lack of code reusability due to code behind file and tightly coupled approach. ASP.NET MVC is a web application framework developed by Microsoft that implements MVC architecture pattern in which M stands for model, B stands for view, and C stands for controller. It was released in 2009 as open source software. It is lightweight as compared to the ASP.NET web forms. It provides better support for test driven development because of separation of concern. It doesn't use view state or server based forms or server side controls. Some of the drawbacks of ASP.NET MVC are ASP.NET MVC use .NET framework and it requires Windows based operating system or Windows based server for build or a deployment. ASP.NET Core is cross platform means it can run on Windows, Mac and Linux give high performance open source framework for building modern cloud enabled internet connected applications it was released in 2016 and has built in support for dependency injection it is lightweight and have modular http request pipeline asp.net core applications can run on dotnet core framework as well as on full dotnet framework then ASP.NET Core 2 released in 2017, which introduced the Razor Pages to create a dynamic web application. It comes with Microsoft ASP.NET Core All Package, which is basically a meta package for all the dependencies which are required to create ASP.NET Core 2.0 application. ASP.NET Core 2.0, or you can say 2.0, target.NET standard. 2.0 ASP.NET Core 3.1 was released in 2019 and has partial class support for Razor components. It can pass parameter to the top level components and have new component tag helper. It provides detail error during Blazor application development and have breaking changes for same side cookies. 
ASP.NET Core 5.0 is released in 2020 and have .NET Core MVC and Razor page improvements. It also have auto browser refresh with .NET Watch feature. It have built-in open API and Swagger UI support for the web APIs. That is just a basic introduction related to evolution of ASP.NET. I am also going to add more videos specifically related to .NET Core 3.1. Please also visit my blog that is ittutorialswithexample.com for the latest tutorials update.